Hey, what's going on everybody? Sean Michael Lewis. Um, I'm about to show you something that I believe is probably the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. So I, I personally live and run my business out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And this week on Tuesday, they had a city council meeting. And this woman who you're about to see in the video gets up and starts comparing a mass mandate to the experience people went through in the Holocaust. Now, conservative, liberal, doesn't matter. This is the most bizarre thing I have ever seen in my life. And the fact that the city council doesn't condemn this, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video because I want you to see this, and then I'm gonna commentate a little bit afterwards. And we have uh, uh, Lori Gracie. Okay, I'll see you Monday. I'll see them. Have a good weekend. Good evening, and thank you for all uh, all of your patience in staying so late tonight. Appreciate that very much. Um, prepared a very brief presentation. Um, we'll go ahead and play that now. I'll narrate. It's just a mask. Is that so much to ask? It's just a mask. It's not about you. It's just a mask. It's the least you can do. It's just a mask. Here are some choices. It's just a mask. We won't silence your voices. You can trust us. It's good for you. Just do what we say, not what we do. It's one rule for us, another for you. It's a mask or a badge. There will be no abuses. It's a badge. You have no excuses. It's a mask, it's a badge. Do you see the connection? It's a badge, it's a mask, it's for your protection. It's just a badge, what's the big deal? It's just a badge, it's a mask. Come on, man, get real. It's a badge or a mask, so where's the harm? It's a badge, it's a mask, now give us your arm. It's just a mask, but what's yet to come? Where there is no choice, there is no freedom. No. I created this presentation. No, we're not gonna do that. I created this presentation to remind us that the path to tyranny all too often begins with what at first glance appears to be an innocuous requirement something that just seems like a mild imposition but appears to be promoted by well-intentioned motives. Today it's a mask, tomorrow it's a badge. What next? Maybe the burqa, maybe a digital ID. Whatever it might be, is the role of government ever meant to be anything other than the protector of our rights? We've spoken about the declaration so many times and I won't read completely the preamble, but government is created to secure the rights that are instituted amongst men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. We are the governed. We have elected you as our governors in this community to work at our behest, at our consent. And I do not consent to any mandate that forces me to wear something on my face or on my person in any way, whether I'm inclined to wear such a thing or not. Government exists to protect my right to choose. I therefore urge the council to continue protecting our freedoms, to continue performing your proper function as protector of our rights and to vote no on both the proposed mask mandate and the alternatively proposed mask resolution where there is no choice, there is no freedom. Okay, that, that wraps up this uh, part of, of the uh, council meeting and we'll move on to item 10, uh, general council business. Consideration, discussion, and possible approval of ordinance number 3672 and ordinance city of Broken Arrow amending chapter 16 of the code of ordinance. So as you can see, that is completely bizarre, inappropriate, and you know, the nobody condemned it. I mean, there was a round of applause in there and somebody got on the mic and said, no, we're not gonna do that. But there was no mention of anybody in the leadership of Broken Arrow that said, that is not okay. That is not appropriate. And the fact that these elected people 
represent our community, I can tell you right now that the, the entire population of Broken Arrow would not stand by that. And it would never endorse that. That is a, I mean, I, growing up, I've learned about the Holocaust. I've, I've actually spoken to Holocaust survivors. And to compare wearing a mask to, to that is just the most un-American, disrespectful, horrible human being type behavior that I have ever seen. And, you know, you get to the end of the video, and I left a little bit on there. They didn't condemn it. They didn't say, that is not what we stand for. And that's what I feel like the people of Broken Arrow, I think people like Deborah Wimpy, uh, Mayor Craig Thurman, the city manager, they should not be allowed to hold these positions anymore after sitting through that. Now, I don't know if they saw the video before, but strategically that presentation was at the end of a multi-hour meeting. And it looks like, you know, I, I mean, the fact that people in that room were applauding that it, it's just a disgrace. It's a disgrace um, to Jewish people and it should never have happened. And even when she goes into the mask with the visuals of comparing to different groups and segments, completely inappropriate, completely so, I mean, th this is not about being right or left, conservative or liberal. This is about being a fucking moron. And, and I'm, I mean, that, that is what it is. It's pure ignorance and moronic behavior. And the fact that Deborah Wimpy, who is in charge of our ward where I live in Broken Arrow, can't go out and publicly condemn that. She should she should resign from office or step down or be forced out of office um, through whatever process council members have to go to be relieved. And this is a woman that's going to seek re-election in April. So I, I can pretty much, I would assume the people are not going to stand by this in Broken Arrow. This is a huge disgrace to our community, uh, to our state and the representation. There's a lot of amazing businesses and people that live in this community. And this is just an unbelievable message that was put out there and allowed. I mean, I understand the freedom of speech, but the the fact that nobody even commented back on the council whether and this is this is far beyond whether there's a mass mandate or not the fact that it's compared to something as disgusting and of the holocaust and what people went through and putting a mask on your face whether the government tells you you can or can't is not even close to the same thing so I just wanted to share that. I think it's completely, please leave your comments. I would love to share these back with the city if they come in. Um, but this is, again, it's truly disturbing and should have never happened. And this woman who did this should be ashamed of herself and should issue some type of apology. But it looks like she got it through pretty well because she had a nice little slide deck with a storybook readover on it, which was like she was reading it to a child. I mean, this is, this is like the most, again, most bizarre thing I've seen in a long time.